Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the online Arabic classes offered by Baitul Hikmah in the open. This is your brother Muhammad Anwar Khan Al-Qasmi, the managing director of the institute and the lead teacher in it. We are on page number 36 of Al-Qira'atul Wadiha, volume number one, part one, Al-Juz'ul Awwal. And this is Ad-Darsul Ishroon, lesson number 20. So the primary idea, the fundamental concept that has been explored, that has been highlighted in this, is how to form the negative form of the imperative. Negative form, which is called as fi'lu nahi. Al amr is that imperative uh, which gives which conveys a positive sense to do something and a nahi is used to express uh, an order to someone not to do something so in case of fi'lu nahi you tell someone not to do something and in case of al amr you order someone to do something so in the previous section we discussed the concept of fi'l al-amr, the imperative, which was in positive. And now in this one, we will be discussing uh, the negative one. And that is fi'l al-nahi or an-nahi. Okay, an-nahi literally means to prohibit someone, to order someone not to do something, to prevent someone, to stop someone from doing something. So the, the method, the process we follow the steps we follow to to form or to get fi'lu uh, nahi is that we have to use la la which meaning no we have to use la in the beginning of fi'lu mudari and then we have to give sukoon to the end of mudari so two basic changes in the hazir sigaz sigatul hazir in the hazir forms of fi'l al mudare we have to use in the beginning la and then at the end we have to use sukun and we will get the forms of the sigas of annahi the forms of annahi for example la tadkhulu la tadkhulani la tadkhuluna la tadkhulina la tadkhulani la tadkhulna so you have to uh, simply say la tadkhul la tadkhul la tadkhula la tadkhulu la tadkhuli la tadkhula la tadkhulna so here the focus is on the wahid sigas the focus is on the wahid and especially the wahid hazir uh, masculine okay so we start now ya hamid udkhul al fasla o hamid enter the classroom i had explained a rule in the previous section that if there is a noun that comes right after the verb fi'l al amr so in that case uh, while reading, while pronouncing both of them, we give kasra to the end of fi'lul amr while connecting them. So, udkhul al fasla. It was actually udkhul al fasla, but while connecting them, we pronounced it udkhul al fasla to make it easier to pronounce. Wala takhruj minhu qabla darsi and don't leave it before the class. So, la takhruj. This is fi'lu nahi. So actually it was takhruju, takhrujani, takhrujuna, takhrujina, takhrujani. So you used la and then you give sukun to the end. It became la takhruj. So this is fi'lu nahi. Ukhruj, live. And la takhruj, don't live. Iftahil kitaba, open the book. Wanzur ilayhi and look into it. Wala tanzur ilal kharij and don't look outside. وَلَا تَنْزُرْ إِلَى الْخَارِجِ And don't look outside. So this is لَا تَنْزُرْ نَزَرَ يَنْزُرُ To look. And it was تَنْزُرُ You used لَا in the beginning and then you give sukun to the end and now you get the negative form the فِعْلُ النَّهِ وَاحِدْ حَاضِرْ 
and muzakkar masculine form iqra id darsa waktubhu read the lesson and write it wala tazhak and don't laugh wala talab fil fasli and don't play in the classroom uskut amam al ustadi be silent in front of the teacher wala tarfa is sawta amamahu and don't raise your voice in front of him uskut amam al ustadi be silent in front of the teacher wala tarfa is sawta amamahu and don't raise voice in front of him so you can see la tarfa it was tarfa'u mudare and you used la in the beginning and sukun at the end but while pronouncing as sawta with la tarfa you you merged it and you said la tarfa is sawta rafa yarfa'u meaning to raise this is on the pattern of fataha yaftahu idhhab ila al masjid go to the mosque wa'budi allah a wa'budi allah and worship allah wala tadhhab alan ila suqi and don't go now to the market so la tadhhab this is fi'l nahi and ya sajidu ta'al huna ya sajidu ta'al huna o sajid come here o sajid come here ya sajidu ta'al huna o sajid come here waqti fi hadhihi az-zahrata an pluck this flower and pluck this flower wala taqtif tilka az-zahrata and don't pluck that flower okay so this la taqtif this is the a uh, important verb which has been uh, introduced here like all the previous negative ones ya suad udkhul al matbakha o suad enter the kitchen watbakh at ta'am and cook the meal at ta'am food and meal ya fatimah ta'ali o fatimah kam wajlisi bi jiwari ummiki and sit down beside your mother okay now you have tamreen exercise dakhala yadkhulu udkhul dakhala yadkhulu udkhul so you can see uh, he has given the uh, imperative forms after the verb dakhala past yadkhulu present and udkhul this is imperative amr udkhuli this is feminine udkhul udkhuli udkhul is masculine and udkhuli is feminine and la tadkhul don't enter la tadkhuli don't enter la tadkhul is for masculine and la tadkhuli is for feminine dakhala yadkhulu is on the pattern of nasara yansuru to enter qatafa yaqtifu to pluck and iqtif for masculine amr imperative iqtifi for feminine and la taqtif this is for masculine this is negative nahi la taqtifi don't pluck laiba yalabu to play laiba past yalabu present mudare ilab this is fi'l al-amr imperative this is for masculine and ilabi this is fi'l al-amr for feminine and la talab Uh, this is masculine la talabi this is feminine both these verbs are nahi negative don't play rafa yarfa'u on the pattern of fataha yaftahu this is meaning to raise and irfa meaning uh, raise irfa'i you raise for feminine irfa is masculine and irfa is feminine irfa is masculine and irfa is feminine la tarfa this is for masculine and la tarfa this is for feminine so la tarfa and la tarfa both these are negative and nahi and nahi forms qaruba yaqrubu qaruba yaqrubu meaning to be near to go near to be close to something on the pattern of karuma yaqrumu uqrub this is fi'l al-amr masculine and uqrubi this is feminine uh, fi'l al-amr and all these are wahid they are singulars la taqrub don't be close don't go near la taqrubi don't go near for feminine okay so all the imperatives and the nahi forms the prohibitive forms all the imperatives the command forms and the prohibition forms which have been used in this lesson and in the previous one all of them are singulars the dual forms and the plural forms are different and there is a little change in them a little change we will discuss those changes 
in the relevant section inshallah so i hope everything is clear in this wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh